So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Even par early on. Here at the par three second hole, it's just under 215 yards and really a good looking hole. The water is not necessarily in play for the professionals. Bunker left and a bunker just short of the green. This is probably a four, five or six iron for most of the professionals. The bigger hitters might be able to get there with a seven. This is a good looking shot. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. Yeah, it, uh, you, you wonder what he was thinking on that. Patrick Rogers has this for par. Makes it right in the center. Moving on to the third hole now, short par for under 400 yards. This is not hitting in the right direction. Well, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if, if you know what you're doing. How good was that, Frank, from the rough? All right, that's amazing. That's a master class in short game. These putts keep the round together. Frank, this game will drive you crazy. Yeah, you can do all so many things right, and then just something so simple, completely wrong. So just getting started, even par so far. Here now at the par four fourth hole at East Lake, and it is 440 yards in length. Game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort, effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the air, that easy. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Second shot now for Patrick Rogers. Yeah. 
appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. In the hole, and that'll bring the score to one under. Back on the tee here at East Lake, it's the fifth hole. This is a muscular par four, Frank, at better than 500 yards. You just take four and walk to the next tee on any given day, Rich. Uh, blind tee shots, really, you have to hit a good one here. Otherwise, you're just sort of going to clock up at least a five straight away. Um, par five for the members, uh, so it's a tough par four, even for the pros. Frank, that is position A. Yeah, t the tee shot was like silk, Rich. I mean, just sets up that second shot so beautifully. All right, Frank, as we look at this approach shot here at the fifth at East Lake, give our player a, a sense of what's the right angle of attack. Well, this is normally a par five um, for, for the amateurs, so it's normally set for a pitch shot. Uh, consequently, as a long par four, you can allow that ball to release and just use the general contours of this green that send the ball to the left. But that approach shot is well to the left, but still, he's on the putting surface. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Goodness, Frank, that is painful. Oh, yeah, that's the... You'd rather miss the hole at times, wouldn't you? A makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under par. Did the job right there. Frank, it is really pretty simple here at the sixth. You need one good, clean strike of the golf ball. Yeah, and the ball's got to travel the right distance, land softly, and give yourself a six or an eight-foot putt. Um, that's the way it's drawn out. Chances of doing that are very, very small. Um, the reason why, just have another look at this tee shot. And if you can see as much water as I can, you're going to realize this is no pushover. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. That is an excellent lag putt right there. Had the speed perfectly. Solid par to remain one under. Now the par four is seventh. Slight dog leg to the left, 434 yards. Frank, what's the best way to attack? Long hitters actually might think about trying to fly it over that bunker on the left, Rich, and leave yourself a pitch in here. But really, it's a second shot hole. And the reason why is that second shot is uphill and to an elevated green. So one thing that you want to do is make sure you're hitting that second shot out of the fairway. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. safely on deck. Beautiful approach shot there and a good chance to take advantage. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Well, that looked for all the world like it was dead center. I've got no idea how that missed.
always take that. Good par putt right there. Frank back to back, dog legs to the left as we step on the tee here at the eighth. This one a little different to the seventh hole. This one's fairly flat. And uh, also that fairway runs out on the right side. Um, you can try and flash it across all the bunkers. There's no real advantage. You have to respect those bunkers. Um, should just leave you a, a sand iron, a wedge maximum in here. This is a good scoring opportunity, providing you hit the fairway. So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive, now in the rough. That'll be from about 90 yards away. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. Well, that's what separates the good players from the great players. The ability to get it that close from that kind of lie. This is a par putt for Patrick Rogers. Come on, you have to make that, don't you? Drop shot here at the eighth. This for him would be one drop shot. So with that, the score is now at even par. So eight holes down, we come to the ninth tee, and at last a par five. It's only 600 yards with a little water. No problem, right? Right out of the center of the bat. Did you hear that? Good tee shot right in the fairway and plenty long. Second shot. Eagle attempt on the way. Clean this up with a tap. That's all he wanted to do there. Yeah, it's touch. And when you think from that distance, chances of making are, uh, are almost none. So to guarantee a two putt, well done. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Drops a second birdie for the day. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, 